We're at Villa Park today, Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, and thanks for joining us for this game. But when it comes to Aston Villa against Birmingham City, I defer to you. If you're part of the world, tell us about the rivalry here. Yeah, it's not always been in the top flight, which I think everybody in Birmingham likes to see, but uh, it's good times at the moment, and two good teams we're going to see here. Well, coming towards the end of the season, the middle of the table could be better, could have been a lot worse, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Maybe if you'd have looked at it at the start of the season, you'd have tipped them to, to finish in this kind of position, but, you know, they could still make a good fist of it if they have a, a late flow and get some points on the table. Number five, Henry Lansbury. Number 14, Connor Horahan. And number 14. The Aston Villa team for this game. James Chester plays with Nathan Baker as the centre backs, and it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Birmingham City, this is their lineup. Well, it's a variation on a theme, really, isn't it? What we're saying is, instead of a back three, he's going to have a back five, and those uh, wide wing backs, as we would call them, are going to be more defensive. I think he's a bit fearful of the opposition. Does look that way, doesn't it? I know he likes to try and convince us that those four backs are going to be uh, radiant forward, but if they're under the cosh, I think they'll just sit there nice and tight to the three centre halves. Refereeing this game, Peter Banks. Birmingham City with the kickoff, and the game's underway. Here's a chance to attack. Tackle here. It'll be a throw now after the tackle. Oh, well played the referee he's gone back to the offense that deserved the bookie he didn't want to stop the play at the time and he's quite entitled to do what he's doing here yeah i think we all thought he was going to go back but good to see advantage being played well this attack got a bit of menace to it and here's the shot over the bar Hogan doing well to keep the ball and it's a headed effort at goal that's a fine header but wide of the post yeah unlucky the keeper you know he wasn't going to get there Shot's on. Taking the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. Good. That's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. He's got his shot off now. Well, he's missed the target by some distance in the end. They're on the pitch. Yeah, we're nice and dry up here, but uh, unlike the players, uh, who will be pretty wet after five minutes. Shot off! And a score now! He didn't need any power, really, just enough to roll it past the goalkeeper because the placement was so good. I think you've got to be playing with an awful lot of confidence to try that. He is. This 
This team are passing the ball beautifully. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Shots on here. He's missed the target by quite a lot in the end. That's a fine goal, and we can see it again here. Oh, I can't believe what I'm seeing, really. He's placed it in the top right-hand corner from so far out. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Birmingham City are penalised here. It's a yellow card, and... Well, it was a certain yellow card, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Looking back on it, he had no choice at all. Was that just a case of mistiming the tackle? I think he's a little unlucky, slightly mistimed, and his man's made the most of it. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. This might be it! Great stop. And that will be a corner. The referee has given a corner here. This attack, and that's half time. Signaled by the referee, one nil the half time score. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Team. the shot comes out with a punch to clear the danger not rushing it here moving from one side to the other and now the shot great work from the goalkeeper in this situation shots on here very good stop here Shotong! Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape. Good forward play from them. Crisp defending there. And it's a shot now! And he's done it! No keeper in the world could have stopped that up there. It's fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level again. Let's see the replay now. Almost a 10 out of 10. Uh, certainly a candidate for man of the match. He's not going to play the whole match, though. Going to be substituted here now. Yeah, he was involved in most things that were good here for his team. Top class. Substitution for Birmingham City. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. They're working away. Good pass. Getting it forward. They have taken the lead. Well, we thought, Alan, we get a very tight game today, but I have to say, this team playing really, really well. Well, they are playing well, Martin, and uh, they're getting plenty of shots in on goal, aren't they? They're good value. This attack has got a bit of menace to it. Well, they've wasted that crossing position, haven't they? Easily cleared. It's been a thrilling contest, this. 
And we're into the last knockings of it. It could be a chance. Well, they've got another one. Goalkeeper almost got there. But it wasn't a strong enough touch. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself, isn't he? Having got a touch on it, feels he should have done better. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. He's right on top of this, the ref. Right to the last. Well, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one. Yellow. Yeah, no surprise there at all. Substitution for Aston Villa. Coming off the pitch... Kolov is the goal-scoring midfielder. Well, he's getting a good clap, and uh, the fans here love him because he always puts in 100% effort. Certainly not uh, flagging in his application of the law. Free kick. And the Villa man's going to pick up yellow for that. Yeah, and look at him. He's walked away. He knows he's in the wrong. Is that just a case of mistiming the tackle? Well, I think so. The referee doesn't need to make a, a mountain out of the... It's good play until they got that challenge in. And the winners here, Aston Villa. They've got all the rights of bragging around the town now by this victory over their neighbours. Yeah, they can go out shopping now, rather than the losers who will be hiding at home, I think, for the next three days. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.